Hey everybody, uh, my name is Josh Polanski and I just want to tell you guys how a trip to Italy and this vintage Eberhard watch sent me down a rabbit hole of vintage watch collecting. So um, my wife and I for my 40th birthday took a trip to Italy last year and as a, a collector of watches for over 20 years, mostly modern contemporary watches, I was really psyched uh, to go to Italy. I've always looked at it from afar and saw that there was a lot of nice boutiques there and watch shopping. And after doing all kinds of research, everything was culminating on our last couple days in Florence. Uh, for those of you guys who have been to Florence, they have the Ponto de Vecchio Bridge with all the boutiques, the original Panerai store, etc., etc. So after days in Florence and looking through all the boutiques, something just wasn't connecting with me with any watches. Um, up until now, I look at all the watches on blogs like yours, I see them all on the internet, and basically I was going into every boutique just seeing what I've already seen on the internet. So nothing was really singing to me for a monumentous uh, occasion watch. So on our way home after days and days of walking around Florence, outside of the touristy areas, my wife and I stumbled upon a shop with all these clocks in the window. So obviously as a, a watch lover, I went over to see it. And in the window, I just saw an amazingly curated a uh, group of watches, Rolexes, Longines, all, all the nice um, brands. So the watch uh, shop was closed, uh, so the next day I rushed right back and to my surprise was a man just sitting at his workbench with a loop on, working away, restoring a watch. Um, I rang the buzzer, he let my wife and I in. To my surprise, he locked the door behind me, which I found to be weird. But then he proceeded to make me an espresso, my wife an espresso, and we sat down and for the next three to four hours, we looked at his whole collection um, and he passionately popped the back of every watch in there and very proudly showed me every movement, every caliber, and, and, and I just felt the passion oozing from him. Uh, I was incredibly inspired by this as opposed to the typical boutique visits where they just kind of offer you a champagne and it's mon more of a monetary money transaction. This was more about the things that I was into uh, and why I do love watches. And at the end, I really badly wanted to buy one of the watches, but they were all very small for vintage watches, 32, 34 millimeter watches. So he, he pulled a watch from behind to show me and I was a little embarrassed by it, but I never heard of the brand. It was Eberhardt. He kind of looked at me, not like I was crazy, but he said, really, you don't know Eberhard? I said, never heard of it. And then he explained to me that this was a, a vintage watch that the Italians really loved and they almost adopted as their own company. I did a lot of research that night because he told me, think about it, I won't sell anything. And going down that rabbit hole, I sure did see that the Italians do love Eberhard. On Chrono24 and all the sites, everywhere I saw a, a, a beautiful vintage Eberhard had a little Italian flag next to it. So I went back the next day to, to try on the watch again. I was really enamored by this watch, just looking at it. Again, as a, a watch from the 1950s, this is about a 40 millimeter case. It's in pristine condition, manual wind movement. I don't know if you hear that, but it is crispy as hell, and I love that. It's a, a mono pusher, even though it has two pump pushers. I found this to be pretty cool. Uh, the top pusher, start, stop, reset. The bottom is not a pusher, it's a slide lock, which actually locks the chronograph in place so you don't accidentally turn it on. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just snapped on the watch, had to, had to pick it up. Um, it, it really showed me that there's a different experience out there than just going to fancy boutiques and you can really stumble upon some treasures. And the beauty of this watch now is, it, it doesn't matter that it was my 40th birthday present watch. What this watch represents to me is, is more of the passion uh, of, of horology and watchmaking and watch servicing and movements. And it also reminds me of one of my favorite cities in the world, Florence. And every time I put this watch on, it reminds me of craft, style, and culture. So hopefully if I can get back to Florence again, I will go to this guy's shop again. I asked him uh, for his web address and something that was really cool about him is he, he looked at me like I had three eyes. No web address, no online shopping, just a business card and a little shop where you guys can find beautiful watches like this. So, hope you enjoyed the story, and if you're ever in Florence, look this man up for a great experience.